everybody, it's me, Laura, and today we're going to go ahead and do my Chloe Kane using color. Woohoo! <laughs> so right here I'm using white and purple. And remember, anytime you're dealing with polymer clay, polymer clay really is, um, it, it really is a thing of contrast. So, you know, when I'm placing white against it, I really need to make sure that the color I'm placing against that white is going to show up. So you've got to go with a dark color. So right here, I really did go with pure purple, you know, a deep purple. I, I did not try to tone down the color. I thought I really got to just go with that really distinct, darker color. Because anytime, you know, if I would have gone with a really light kind of color, eh, the pattern might not show up as nicely and it might not be as dynamic. I mean, black and white is great. Oh, it's wonderful because you get such a dynamic, you see it, you're like, wow, that is something. It hits you. But when you use color, it's always, uh, it's always a, you know, a game of shades. It really is, it's a game of shade. And in this case, I thought, no, I gotta go with a dark purple. Um, and I just picked purple just for the heck of it, but any color, really, um, if you're dealing with white, make sure you go with that darker color on its opposite. Okay, so right here, like I am doing when, when you're forming up this Chloe Kane, remember to make sure that your triangles are really distinctly triangle. And then I'm putting that center core together and then placing the half moons of the purple and white around the outside. Once I do that, I'll go ahead and reduce and get this thing moving. Okay, so right here I'm starting to cut my pieces and I'm gonna start putting them together. Remember that dark, you know, purple half moon or whatever and up against that white one. So again, you can kind of see, you know, even with this, you know, this color, it's a dark purple. I really have to do that because I need to have that contrast to make it look right when it comes to creating this Chloe Kane.
And right here you see the results of using my purple and white to create that Chloe cane. Okay, so since I did the purple and white, and I, I really thought if I'm going to do the white, I really should do the black. So again, this is an opposite thing. So I used a bright yellow instead. And <laughs> to tell you honestly, when I did this, I thought, oh, this is going to look really, really good. I'm going to really love this. I don't know why, but for some reason, this was my least favorite. Uh, I don't know if it was just I didn't like how the yellow looked against it or what, but for some reason, my yellow and black was not my favorite combination. Usually, I love yellow and black together. It looks so good. I think bumblebees. It's awesome, you know, but for some reason, I don't know why, but this pattern in my yellow and black was not my favorite. Now, you guys might love it, but for me, it was like, eh, <laughs> I could take it or leave it. <laughs> Okay, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and reduce yet again, and then we'll start cutting this, you know, getting this into one long cane, and then cut that cane into smaller canes, and then we'll go ahead and put those together, creating our pattern. Okay, so here's the results from putting my yellow and black together, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, so right here, I kind of got it in my head. I was like, going, okay, I did yellow and black, and I did the purple and white, and I thought, you know, I put it together, and I kind of made a nice little, you know, with the four squares together, a nice little pattern. And when I got to this point, I thought, what if I went ahead and combined these a little bit? And, you know, it was interesting. Yellow and purple. Well, <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> I think what you really need to do here, um, when you're trying to put color into this particular cane, and you've got your white and you got your black, I would say whatever color you have. So let's say, like, I have my white and my purple at first, right? So in my mind, I really probably, what I should have done was done another secondary color. So like maybe orange or green. And with the yellow and black, if I was going to stick with that, I probably should have gone more with a combination of either blue or red. I, I don't know. For some reason, to me, it just did not, you know, I mean, purple and yellow are great together. <laughs> but for some reason, I don't know, maybe adding in the black and the white together along with it just seemed like it was much to me. Just, you know, too much. <laughs> so I would probably play it safe and like, okay, let's stick with our, you know, primary colors or my secondaries.
Okay, so here's the result of mixing my purple and white and my yellow and black Chloe cane together. Okay, so right here I'm mixing my purple and my, well, I should say my green and my pink. <laughs> so these are definitely polar opposites. You know, anytime you do red and green, they're like polar opposites. But these were so bright and I just thought, eh, let's just, let's just have some fun and see what the heck comes of it. <laughs> so I went ahead and I made, of course, one bullseye in green and white and one bullseye in my pink and black. And, you know, I'm looking at this now and I'm thinking, hmm, you know, you, maybe you should have made the uh, outer circle pink and the, you know, <laughs> I mean, there's a, another combination here I haven't even tried. You guys could just go ahead and have fun with it and like, okay, so the outer ring, make that pink and then make the other um, outer ring uh, the green and then you have your black and your white in the center. So see what I mean? You guys can change this up a little bit. So think about that. <laughs> All right, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and let my hands talk as you watch the rest of this video and enjoy. So this is the result of using full color in the Chloe cane by using my pink and my green. 
And here I have the results of my Chloe Kane in color, whether it's with black and one color or white and one color or full color. Please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'm always wondering what you're thinking. Otherwise, I am sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.